It's the local elections today. And it's the lawyer versus the criminal. <laughs> I thought it was for your local council. Nah, nah. They're saying here, local elections. We predict the Conservatives will lose more than 200 council seats while Labour gains around 150. Someone said, if a lawyer can't beat a criminal, then we're in big trouble. And they've been posting up messages everywhere. A message to Tory voters this Thursday. Stay at home. Save lives. Protect the NHS. And what kind of person? What kind of person would vote Tory? Look at this. This is the eve of the election Tory pitch. And it's a, what, I mean, what a bunch of heinous, despicable bastards. And fucking the fear of the other. This is their pitch. This is the front page of the Daily Poo. This is what they're going with. Look, Rwanda. That's what they got to tell voters on the morning of the election. Plan at risk from left-wing lawyers. <laughs> That's what I said. It's the lawyer versus the criminal. It's hard to comprehend that we blindly accept kids in poverty and old ladies, Elsie, on a bus to keep warm. But brown people in a boat? <laughs> it's fucking horrific. And Elsie's going around to, and Boris is like, what is wrong with Boris Johnson? There's a lot of people saying, what is wrong with him? He's like, the Tory candidates are ashamed. Ashamed to be associated with Boris Johnson. <laughs> They're calling themselves local, local conservatives. Why would they do that? Because he is a disgrace. He's a disgrace. <laughs> Fucking hell, do they keep going? You've got Michelle Moan, PPE fraud. They're saying vote conservative if you want liars, criminals and racketeers. I say get a party in your pocket. Get the suitcase from the van. Only fools vote Tory.